What's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be doing that Deacon Jones, um, you know, legend solo. Uh, pretty much, it's just like walkthroughs. I like to let you guys see, um, you know, that, how I'm doing it. Because a lot of people are having problems beating the computer on all Madden, which you should not have a problem doing. It's just specific plays every year in Madden that just works. Uh, primarily, what you're going to want to do, like I've always been telling you guys, make sure True Clock is on. Well, and when I say True Clock, I mean, you know, set it to 10 seconds left on the time clock and just have a play ready. Inside zone, the toss, whatever. But look at Jeff Fisher, bro. How is he still in the league? How is everybody else getting fired and he's still there? Like, what? What is Jeff? What has Jeff Fisher done? Like, I really need somebody to tell me why he he was such a sought after coach for the Rams. I just don't know what this man has done. I I, I don't understand. Maybe somebody can explain it to me, um, so I can understand. But I, I just don't understand how you know guys are getting fired all over the place. Tom Sula's gone. Chip Kelly deserved to be fired. Uh, Mike Pettin is a human eggplant, so he deserved to go. Um, but I just don't understand how guys like Jeff Fisher are still around. That guy is going to continue to ruin the Rams franchise until he's released. And that's just the bottom line. But as we go ahead and kick off right here, uh, I don't know. I, it doesn't really make any sense with a lot of these sets to complete them. Uh, you might as well just wait for the guys to like whatever they do. And then they, they put them out for auction as Aaron Rodgers jumps out. He's been awful um, over the last couple months in the NFL, man. I don't know what the hell's going on with him. I'm actually going to get rid of him soon. I think I'm just going to fire him right now as I'm doing the video like actively um, through telekinesis. But regardless of what the situation is, uh, I want to know if you guys are, are interested in using the legend Deacon Jones. Uh, I, you know, he, look at this dude. Bro, yeah, yeah, you garbage. That's what you always doing. You garbage, bruh. Yeah, yeah, now you acting like you frustrated, like you're not used to losing. Like, what have you won, Jeff Fisher? Like, bro, why are you being paid so much and you haven't won anything? I don't understand how they, how do they justify these coach hires? Like, Jason Garrett is walking around looking like a blonde female pop singer and He's still the coach. Like, what, what has he done? I don't understand what he's done, but made the Dallas Cowboy Nation look like garbage over the last however many years. Made them look mediocre. Um, you know, I think Wade Phillips, you know, he looks fat and sluggish, but I think he would he would have been doing a better job if they would have given him a chance. I, I just don't know, man. I, whatever, bro. But let's let's go ahead and um talk about the fact that uh there's a lot of there's a lot of new cards being released. I think this was um the weekend with Emmett Emmett Smith as well. I want to know you guys' thoughts. Uh, is Emmett Smith a card that's worth it if you use them? Uh, definitely tweet me at Jamar as well and let me know what's going on with it. I don't think that um, I want the Emmett Smith card. You know, pretty much, like I said, I run with the Dree Archers because that's what it's about. You know, at running back, you, the, the running mechanics of this game, regardless of what people say, um, that's one thing I can't deny is a lot better. The running mechanics in Madden 16 are unbelievable. They're unbelievable. Um, so, with that being said, you get the right running back, you're not you're not gonna be stopped. It's, you're just gonna have to, you know, the person that you're playing just got to deal with the, deal with the wrath, bro. Like you can really run, um, depending on how you set up your old line with your tight ends or whatever like that. The run blocking is very very specific and on target. Like everybody on your old line went to Harvard. Like they up they perfectly align with the defenders, and you just keep on running if you have the right play. So, um. You know, it, it, it's something that you should definitely. Oh my! What is what is he doing? What is that? Yo, bro, that that was ridiculous. And he's like, yeah, that's how you suck it. Cause you, yeah, I suck too. You yeah, go ahead, tell him Jeff Fisher. Like, bro, these dudes, man. Yeah, like, yo, man. Oh man, yeah, I gotta listen to some Justin Bieber. Don't, don't forget that I'm human. Yo, I did just bust out some Justin Bieber right quick. Yo, guys, if you haven't checked out that album Purpose, you need to definitely check that out, man. Don't forget that I'm human. Don't forget that I'm real. Uh oh, shit. Yo, sorry, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, I had to just bust it out. I had a Justin Bieber uh, flashback right fast, but as I looked at um, the titties on Jeff Fisher. But regardless of the situation, I think that should have been a penalty, by the way, with my player blatantly putting his penile in the other player's face. But that's neither here nor there. Probably the refs didn't see it. But based on the way that uh, the game is designed, you guys are going to want a fast running back. And why spend extra money on BS when you could just get a Dree Archer for very, very cheap? So that's just my opinion with that. Other than that, it's Wild Card Weekend. I want to know you guys' picks. I want you guys to tweet me at G Myers well to let me know who you're picking for the Wild Card Weekend. I also want you guys to listen to my recaps on YouTube. Um, NFL recap or download it on iTunes or Android G Myers World Podcast if you guys are on the Android you know my app is available inside us inside an app called the podcast source app within the Google Play Store so you got to download that app it's free and I provide my uh, podcast for free as well I don't charge for it I have the option to I don't charge for it I believe that the entertainment is enough for you guys and um you know, pretty much just put a smile on your face. Some of you guys are really, really mad at me because I go hard on your team. But you guys got to remember, bro, honesty is the best policy, bro. I can't sugarcoat it when your team sucks. You know what I'm saying? If you're running around, you know what I'm saying, bro, and you're a Colts fan, 
Andrew Luck needs to go, bro. I don't care if he's injured. I don't care if he has a broken spleen, a broken eyeball, um, a fractured butt cheek. Whatever his problem is, he's going to be a, a turnover prone machine for years to come. That's just gonna be what it is. I don't know. Maybe I'll give him another year to see, but that's what Andrew Luck has been. And um, you know, it's unfortunate that he was playing through injury. And I don't know if the Colts are responsible for uh, are going to be responsible for getting fines for that. Cause you know you're supposed to uh, disclose your injuries, but I haven't heard much on that. It just seems that after they they blew the whistle on the Patriots, their whole franchise the, the, the franchise just took a you know took a dump on themselves. Like what are you what what are they doing right now? Like you blow the whistle, you know what I'm saying, bro? It's, it, you want to run your mouth and tell, you know, you want to be a tattletale like the tattletale strang strangler in SpongeBob. And now what? You know what I'm saying? Your team sucks. Chuck Pagano should be getting fired within the hour. And a lot of stuff is just is just unnecessary, man. You know what I'm saying? All because you're trying to say deflated balls. Like, bro, really? Deflated balls? That that's really what you tried to get Tom Brady on the all-time great? It, it's just fascinating to me what people do, bro. And um, it's not like I'm a Patriots fan or anything like that, but you know, and, and Tom Brady has been playing horrible as over the last couple of weeks. So horrible that Bill Belichick, Bill Belichick didn't even want the ball at half. I mean, in overtime. You know what I'm saying? That's how horrible the O line is, and. It just goes, you know, you can't expect much from a quarterback. It's already it's already a, a situation where he's dealing with, you know, average receivers for the most part, and, and, you know, except for Gronkowski. And, um, you know, it, it's just, he has no O-line now. So what the hell do guys expect? Like, everybody's bashing him. I can't bash him. I don't I don't think that, you know, he won't be successful if you give him the tools that he needs. I don't know how to just pick that ball, but whatever. And um, I just think it's unfair in most cases, which it usually is, but it's part of the, um, the process. Um, when you go through it, but right now I don't trust the Patriots coming out of the AFC I want to know what you guys think. Do you trust the Patriots anymore coming out of the AFC now that in the number two seed? And um, they got to go through a lot of different things unless somebody loses and gets upset And also do you think Peyton Manning should be the starting quarterback? I think he should be bro I think Osweiler had enough time to do the right thing and he's just a joke now You know what I'm saying to be completely honest with you uh, When Peyton Manning comes in and then he's able to read blitzes and you know, it's just the experience of Peyton Manning that is going to help them win. Uh, Osweiler, he may be able to do something in the future. He's shown, you know, some upside to him, but I, he was playing like garbage yesterday. And uh, pretty much, I don't know what's going to happen, but I do think that they should keep Peyton Manning in for the playoffs because I think Peyton Manning gives him the best chance to win. And the way that everything changed in flip-flop and now the Broncos are the number one seed, I think that will prove to be devastating to most teams in the AFC because... Denver still has a great defensive team. And if you're just able to put up some points, I think that defense will do enough. You know, I, I believe, don't they lead, lead the league in sacks or something? Like DeMarcus Wayne, that boy Von Miller just doing whatever they want with a, with, a, with a great surrounding cast. So there's a lot of things to look forward to, but I want to know, you guys going to tweet me at G Myers World. Um, I should have a poll there by the time you guys tweet me. If I don't, then, you know, whatever. But either way, I want to know what you guys are thinking. Right there, I just drop on the floor. I don't want to deal with the computer no more. I just wanted to use it last time out. We're going to go ahead and nail this out and get our uh, collectible for the Deacon Jones. I don't know if I should do the set. Let me, oh, look, look at those titties on Jeff Fisher. Let me know what you guys think. You know, I, I don't know about Deacon Jones, bro. You remember the ice, the, the frozen Deacon Jones from last year? He was pretty decent in Madden 15. Um, I don't, I'm not sure about him this year. Though. I don't think I need him. I think I have everything that I need as far as defensive line goes. I just don't know what my plans are for the future of, you know, for what I'm going to be trying to do to build my team. But um, yeah, here goes the card coming up right now. We'll go ahead and get our coins. And um, there goes the Deacon Jones um, collectible. And that's pretty much it, man. Until next time, one love.